Well, look who it is. Gracing us with their presence on the island. It's red. I've never seen the title screen with with red on it before. This is kind of cool. Let's dive in. Let's dive in and see what he wants. How is everybody? Welcome back to hard mode. It's our third stream slash video, depending on how you're watching this, I guess it depends. Um, if you are watching this after it was a stream, let me know in the comments um, if you're enjoying it so far, I suppose. I asked earlier on the community tab if people were gonna play hard mode. Most people said no. And I guess there's you know an attachment to their islands and things like that, which is fine. It's fine. It looks like today Canyon Duck gained a new neighbor today. It's Sherb, which is exciting. Um, I was ho kind of hoping all three new neighbors would move in at once. Is it just going to be one at a time? Final announcement of the day. For all you DIY loving island residents out there, I have a very special announcement. DIY veterans can now take part in a very special customization workshop. So we're unlocking customization today as well, which is really exciting. I'll conduct this DIY workshop inside resident services. Curious crafters should stop by, and that's all for me. Hope you enjoy another fine day of luxurious Canyon Duck living. All right. Hello to Care Bear, Ohio, Cole, Vanilla, Tesha, Manda, uh, Ditsy, um, Dolly, Kate, Catherine, Bringsbane, Kitten Army, Sydney, Rum Runner. Yes, if it's your first time, welcome. Appreciate you. Jill, how's it going? Welcome, everybody. I'm excited to get started. I was going to just play today for myself and decided I can, I can stream a little bit today so i want to get some nook miles that's my that's my idea of fun getting some extra nook miles because we have a lot of different things we're going to need to use them for uh looks like our payment has gone through which is good good to see i wasn't scammed always nice to wake up not scammed uh happy home is going to send us a small gift i'll take that and some of the things we ordered yesterday have come to them in our uh, mailbox. So we'll grab all of these. And we will go ahead and probably go and order some more, honestly. And what do we get? Dream house. Oh, yes. We've upgraded our house. You guys haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, so let's pop inside and admire our newly expanded storage. I honestly don't care about the room size at all. There's phones in Animal Crossing now. There is. You get a whole phone with a bunch of apps on it. Naru, how's it going? There it is. <laughs> the house is horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, terrible house. Um, all right, so let's move the bedroom over here. Uh, let's put my portrait of strangers next to me here. Uh, this is going to be... I think my living room should go over here now, like my entertainment setup. That's pretty good. I'm actually going to replace this radio with just the music player. I don't need two music players. Um, I'm going to put my mirror in the bedroom. I'm going to put the uh, plant over here in the kitchen. And we're going to pick up the present to give somebody else uh, today. How much storage do I have now? 120 slots. Okay. Not bad. Uh, what's our inventory looking like? A mess. A hot mess. Okay, but at least we can put things away now. Outdoor bench, we got rain boots. To the edge, which is a KK song that we can dump in here. See, you don't even need three stars to start getting KK music. It's the best. We need so much more inventory space. I know. How am I supposed to... This is the only motivator for paying off loans right now. Because it's hard mode and getting items is a lot more difficult in hard mode, I have a lot of incentive to buy a lot of things from Nooks and, and the catalog and just dump them in storage for another day because I don't know what kind of theme I'm going to want in the future. And this mode is not conducive to those behaviors. Um, but we're doing okay. So I got a gift for one of the villagers. KK Bubblegum, I, I, I'm hoping to get that. Uh, we're going to do some Nook shopping so I can try and order another song today. Why does your house seem bigger than the fully upgraded house? <laughs> it's because I have nothing in it. I am I am completely uh, broke. So that's what happens. I don't know why you gotta make me feel bad about it. Let's talk to this jerk. Well, you from around here? My name's Red. I work in sales. And you are? Dan. What a great name. Intelligent. Strong. I can already tell we're gonna be pals. Not pals. Family. Always a red flag when someone you meet who's involved in, in shady business practices just refers to you as family right away. Uh, I know I'm in deep now. 
It's a pleasure to meet you. Hey, would you mind if I ran an idea by you? So Candy Duck wants art, and I got art to sell. Might be something to this, but I couldn't sell to just anybody. I'd need someone I could trust completely, as if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, this is very presumptuous, and because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want to be... Wait, sorry. I want it to be you. I almost I almost read something completely different. Uh, want to look at, at a few things? I've got both art and furniture, plus you'd get my cousin's discount. You in. Seems kind of sketchy. I'm hurt. There's nothing sketchy about this. I can prove it. I've got my boat anchored off the northern shore, you know, where nobody goes, and I'm almost done fixing all the leaks. Long story. Come and have a look at what I'm selling. You won't regret it. Oh, I'm just getting swept there. I don't get a choice. I've been... Oh. Oh, no, I'm fine. I just couldn't see where he was going, even though he told me where he was going. Okay, that made me a little nervous. Swiper, no swiping. Um, we're good, though. I got I got my recipe for the day. Let's see. Let's see if it's something new. Uh, bone door plates. Nice. All right, I gotta buy some from Nooks. Them's the rules. How is it snowing in your island? Um, well, I'm in winter. In the northern hemisphere. What do we got? All right, I got popcorn maker. We got some interesting stuff. I like, I like this stuff. I don't have a lot of money right now. I did spend quite a bit. So let's just buy the one item right now. The one that's kind of drawing my eye. Oh, never mind. We're broke. I plan on buying all this stuff, but I wanted to just make sure in case I forget to just buy one thing now. There we go. We can afford that. And then what's in here? Anything interesting? We have... Um, nothing I really want in here. And floors and wallpapers we'll come back for. But uh, yeah, okay, that's good. All right. We'll make a little bit of money, and uh, we'll be able to buy more things. Okay. So I guess the first stop... Well, no, the first stop can't be Reds, because, again, I'm broke. Oh, boy. Money's already going to be an issue today. And I haven't even looked at my Nook Miles tasks that I have to do. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we got a stretch, which is great, because I'm supposed to do that anyway. We need to redeem 500 miles. Not a problem. Uh, we need to get fossils assessed. Should be easy. Catch three snowflakes, and we need to spend bells. <laughs> no, it wants me to spend 5,000. I don't even have 5,000 bells. Well, no, I do. Actually, I forgot. They did dump some money when we got here in my account. So I really got deep into listening to music and forgot. No, you're good. You're good. These aren't mandatory. Got me up in six hours and 20 minutes, but I'm enjoying these hard mode streams too much. I do leave them up on the channel. Um, just, just so everyone knows, uh, if you, if you need to rest, it's okay. Hey, Dumplings, how's it going? All right. Let's be sure we're grabbing fossils along the way because I do need to get them assessed for the Nook Miles. Neptune, how's it going? Harv is here too. I got Red and Harv on the same day. You live on this island? Thought so. I'm from, like, the next island over. My name's Harvey. Glad to meet you. Can You can call me Harv if you want. Wonder why no one ever does that. It's the V part <laughs> that's fun to say. Sorry, got a bit sidetracked there. I came here for a reason. Give me a minute and I'll remember why. Got it. I keep hearing about this island and how much folks dig the scene here, so I thought I'd check it out. I'm going to start this Far Out Artist Collective, and I'm looking for ideas. So what's your deal? I would heard that this place was deserted, like literally a deserted island. You the honcho that put this place at the head of the class? Wait, this old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. Just hit the airport and tell him you want to go to Harv's Island. That's the name of my pad. Anyway, nice John with you. I'm going to stroll around and see what makes Canyon Duck tick. So we got Red and Harv on the same day. I don't know if that's common. But it's done. Uh, what? You got a second I want to bug you about something. So I have so have I introduced you Oh, have you introduced yourself to Sherb yet? Maybe this is weird, but now that he's around, Canyon Duck is feeling like a whole new place. 
And that got me wondering, how do we make this place more welcoming for some for when someone else like Sherb comes along? I think maybe it's time to give Canyon Duck a little more personality. Don't get me wrong, I'm all about the vibe we've got going now. I just want to amp it up some. And to get this going, I bought us something kind of rad. Do you think you could find a spot for it? What is it? I know that you know... Wait, I know that you know where a springy ride on ought to go. Now get out there. You got this literally and figuratively. Uh, thanks. Great. Now I'm being told how to decorate by somebody with questionable paws. But that's fine. Whatever. Let's stroll the beaches. See if we can find anything else before we uh, greet Sherb. What do we think? Anything out here? I'm looking for fossils, of course. How is everybody, by the way? Thank you for being here. All right, we got another fossil. Horse is a great get. Does everyone get the same thing or no? Um, I do want to put this down somewhere. I'm not I'm not totally opposed to it. It's just uh, I, I didn't want to do it right now, but I could put it by nooks. Lurking because I'm working here and listening. Hey, Copper. Pretty tired, but it's Monday, so pretty normal. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, here. Oops. I think this is a good spot for it. I'm going to leave it there. Glad to enjoy stream after work. Nice. We're on a mile, so I should probably get on. Yes. It's always good to uh, start collecting those, especially if you're doing hard mode and you got some villager hunting you want to do. You're not going to be able to use Nookazon to get those Nook Miles tickets, so better start collecting. What are you making? What is it? What is it? What is it? Tell me. I made a bamboo drum. I don't really want that, but okay. All right. Give, 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 give. Can't sleep because I'm meds. Oh, sorry to hear that. All right. What do we got? Bamboo drum. Yay. Okay. So I also need to give you a gift. I've decided that Rory is going to be the first photo I get. Been in any cool fitness training programs lately? Nope. I see. I guess I, you have more uh, sit-down hobbies. Whew. Okay, that was um, that was messed up. It's not one or the other. All right. Maybe I just take walks sometimes. Maybe we can get together for some badminton sometime. You'd have fun. Jeez, the peer pressure. Um. All right. This is for you. Here. Take this and never insult me again. Pears! It was. I, I forgot what was in there. <laughs> uh, a protein shaker bottle. Okay. That's not a bad item. Cool. We've increased our friendship points with Rory. Uh, why don't... Brings me in. I was hoping to see you here. You're in trouble. Oh, Kato, what are you doing? Coming in here and taunting the mods? This is a dangerous game you're playing with uh, the most ban happy mod in the chat. But I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Go ahead. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do my stretches. I need to relax with all this tension in chat right now. Um, yeah, I could definitely use these right now. I may or may not have found a throne. What do you mean? Hey, Brian. How's it going? And then magic happened. What are you talking about? Why is this so cryptic, Brings Bane? Just say what you did. <laughs> I'm really having trouble relaxing right now. With all this drama going on. You know what you did, and you're in trouble, but also thank you. Huh? I don't know. This whole conversation is taking I'm just going to focus on my stretching. Who do you think is the worst at stretching? And don't say me. I think I'm awesome at it. Look at all these folks here, though. Who do you think is doing terrible? Does this... 
Does the game at this stage have fishing tournaments? Ah, uh, that's a really good question. I know there's supposed to be one Saturday. I would love to go for the gold, uh, but I don't know. Brings me found my hidden throne account and bought me some stuff. Oh, okay, okay. Kind of a weird thing to have a hidden throne account, put things on it, and then yell at people when they buy them for it. Hmm. <laughs> I think Blathers is the worst at stretching. I He's barely even jumping. Everyone else is like putting in a full effort, and Blathers... I, I'm not buying. Look at him. Look, he's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot this part too, but uh, I remember. Nope, I'm good. You're grinding out bait. Oh, that's a good idea. I have on my other character some bait, but obviously I can't trade between the two. Had to do some research to find it. It wasn't that. That's now I'm okay. Now I'm looking at Bringsbane with raised eyebrows. Creep. What are you doing? <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's that down. We gotta we gotta go do some Nook Mile stuff. You're thinking we need upgraded resident services? I'm thinking that too. We gotta make sure we put in a full effort this week so we can get that done. What you got for me, Tom Nook? Your home is much roomier. It's nice to have a little extra space, which brings us to the cost of remodel. That'll be 198,000 bells. Please make your payments using the Nook ABD feature. Okay. What do we got? Let's first grab our cash. Because I have, like, no money. And then let's go redeem some miles because I do have an achievement to redeem miles. And I want to get both these fences. So this will definitely be... <laughs> the 500 miles spent. Alright, let's get the other one. These are both great fences. Favorite thing you got for Christmas? Uh, I got some wireless earbuds. Which are pretty nice. Does the soft reset of my game qualify as hard mode? Define soft reset. What do you mean? I don't know what... It, either you've deleted everything or you didn't. So there must be something to that that I don't understand. I miss the feeling of seeing DIYs available. Isn't that fun? Harvest your money tree? There is that. I can harvest my money. I might have a couple. All right. We got some stuff. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that's very expensive. All right. I'll take it. New KK song. Uh, I don't have any water shoes right now, so I'll go ahead and grab these as well. I don't see myself wearing pants like this, but then again, I'm going to have to like make all my own clothing, so I'm going to need some options here. Okay. And then the hose reel is just a good item to have. You got two scorpions. Nice. You're using wireless earbuds right now. Dan got his two front teeth for Christmas. That's really uncalled for. Really rude. Everyone always compliments how I sound. And I don't think I sound like someone who's missing their front teeth. But now I question that. Maybe I... Maybe I do. Maybe everyone assumes I have no teeth. I guess that's my fault. I'll have to enunciate better. Let's find some uh, of these snowflakes now. I'm just... First, I'm knocking out these early Nook Miles achievements. As I run around trying to find fossils as well don't listen to her what if she's right she might be I don't know how am I supposed to know sometimes it takes a bully to identify you know areas of improvement hmm I got one snowflake here's one I should probably grab more of these than three because I was trying to make the snowman items because they're worth a lot of money and 
I I am very low on the little snowflakes. All right, that's done. I've never been in my museum this much. It's huge. Have you never explored the museum? Okay, cool. Now we, all we need to do is identify the fossils, which is great. So uh, here, let's shake out this money tree. Get, get this gone. Grab some cash. We'll find the money rock too. Maybe this is it right here. Oh, it's so nice to just play the game and like have all these things I need to do. Is it me or does early Animal Crossing are different? It does. It does. Uh, the music doesn't change hour by hour until you get past like this first stage where you're still unlocking the resident services building and all that fun stuff. Okay, we got a snowflake here. Oh, let's go upgrade the net. Because it's going to break soon. Just decorated. Got shooting stars, too? Wow. Hardly catch your streams live. Glad I'm able to catch it. Jade! Glad to see you here. How are you doing? Miss the old music. It's so much better. I, I wish this song made it into the final round of songs, you know? It's just a really good... It's a really good song. The This song alone is worth replaying the early stages of the game for. Oh, that's gone. It's not gone. Yes. I found her two snowballs. We'll go we'll help, go ahead and craft us a snow person. Uh where should I should I go up or down? I guess down. Ooh, don't kick the tree. This was not a great spawn for the snow person blocks, uh, or balls. I, this is not ideal right here. We'll figure it out. Um, okay. Let's just take a quick lap around this tree. And we'll put this right there. And we'll bring this one forth. They always spawn near cliffs or rivers. You know what? On my on my main island, every spawn for me last year was next to my museum. Because that's where I have the most open space. Which, by the way, is like hardly any. And this year, they're, they're going in different spots. And I didn't change like hardly anything on my island. I can't believe it. I'm like in shock. Okay, I think that's a good ratio. Let's see. I did it again. I still haven't failed. This is so rewarding. I'm so, so glad I continue to make perfect snow people. That feels good. Frozen treat set. Argo, how are you? I said this summer I was fed up with the snow. Already? Well, I say already. I, I didn't play like <laughs> throughout most of December. <laughs> So for me, the snow is kind of new. All right, let's grab these. Professional snowboy builder. I guess so. The trick is to not make them big. I think maybe it's easier to see the ratio when they're wee. I almost never make a large one anymore. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I'm up here hunting for fossils. We also got to visit Red while we're back here. Oh, money tree. All right. Oh, that was instinct. That was instinct. I didn't mean to bury that. Okay, I guess we just get a thousand bells today. <laughs> Oops. I'd love to see Kato fail at making snowboys. Well, um, you'll probably get your chance, I imagine. Probably soon. My one yesterday was literally perfect. <laughs> but with all this peer pressure, it's probably going to be it's going to be difficult to get another one like that, right? Here we go. I don't know why that was like a big deal. It was a big deal to me though. 
Where is the secret beach on this island? Oh, it's over to the right. Okay. You know, if you plant less than a thousand, you'll still get three thousand from the bell tree. Nuh-uh. Is that why the wording in the rules is you have to plant what you bury? Because I was really confused as to why it didn't just say plant a thousand bells. Well, I guess it could still say a thousand bells and say plant what you bury. But yeah, like you only ever dig up 1,000 bells. So I found the language to be kind of interesting. Maybe it was also, it was the easiest way to say, and don't plant less than what you, what you dig up. I didn't even know you could do that. I always just plant 10K and move on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, go ahead. No, it's it's not gonna cooperate. You can do it. You can do it. No, oh, I'll go. Yes. Perfect. I get 30k every time I plant 10k. Yes, you'll get 30k back when you plant 10k. But they're saying if you plant less than 1,000, you still get 3,000. Which is awesome. I've never tried that. Huh. But yeah, I always plant 10k. Oh, look at you. I thought you were dead. I'll take another large snowflake. Why not? Love your build of the Christmas tree farm. That wasn't... Okay, you must be talking about Kata. That wasn't me. Uh, I'm going to... Bust in on Sherb, I guess. I'm getting a lot of these snowflakes today. This is excellent for me. Here we go. Let's welcome Sherb to the neighborhood. Wow, so they're going to come in one day at a time. I thought I was getting all of them today. Yes, make sure you sweep up the dirt floor. What a waste of energy. I'm all uh, I'm all done moving. You were right. This island is neat. I'm really excited to live on King Duck. Uh, I want to play with everybody, but first, Ba, I got to get unpacked. Good luck, Sherb. You've caught the stick insect. Oh, nice. Is it stick insect season? Should I be paying more attention to my trees? That's an easy one to miss. Very crafty. Lake up here. Huh. Oh, that's gone. Yeah. Rare person who likes playing in winter. Fairy core in winter. So that sounds nice. I've seen some gorgeous winter islands. All right. Let's pick up another snowflake. The HHA keeps roasting your house. Oh my gosh. I wish you could opt out. I honestly do. I've always wished that about the HHA. I, I hated having my house judged, especially early on. You have no furniture and they sign you up immediately just to embarrass you. Like this organization breaks into your house while you're sleeping and judges you. You just moved to the neighborhood. You hardly have unpacked. You have no money. Uh, you have no friends. You have no security system. And they break in, and then they write you a letter about it. And like they're like, you know, we were snooping around your house last night, and uh, you snore. But not only that, what is with the sofa? Like, disgusting. And that bed you're sleeping on is literally a pile of boxes. You should be embarrassed. And uh, 10 points. Who asks for this? Why would I want that? Who signs up for this service? Willingly. It's nobody. It, nobody does. It is foisted upon you. <sighs> True, I usually finish my winter island by New Year's. I want to go straight to spring. <laughs> yeah, the, the spring, spring islands should start in January. The HOA Homeowners Association. Yeah, it is. And that, I think that's where that came from, right? Like Nintendo Nintendo thought it'd be cute to have an, a virtual homeowners association. 
And maybe maybe that's it. Maybe I'm just now getting the joke. Because I always assumed it was like supposed to be a knock on the homeowners association, but only just now did I put together that people don't like the homeowners association, generally speaking. Like it's a it's a it's the butt of the joke. So it now it kind of makes more sense as to why they're so nosy and insufferable, because they're making fun of actual homeowners homeowners associations across the you know country world whatever it is imagine trying to do gold core in hard mode artsy don't tempt me how are you all right i think well no i definitely did not find all of the uh, fossils because i only have three four there's two more lurking about i have no idea where they are but I definitely looked in, in, at a lot of places, so. <laughs> um, let's, let's go visit Red. If I find the fossils, I find them. If not, I don't care. Please do gold core. I did gold core. Been there, done that. Don't you guys want to see something else? I want to see something else. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm not doing it. I'm just saying I don't necessarily want to right now. Can you explain what the hard mode challenge is? I see it everywhere. Yes, it is this. This is the hard mode challenge. It's also linked down below if that wasn't enough time. I know some people say it, it, there's a lot of words, so sometimes it's hard to read. Um, I linked it in the description. Here we go. Oh, that's a real statue. Look at this, my first trip to red and I've identified a real piece of art right out of the gate. Um, now, the painting over here, I feel like this one is the real version of this. Hold on. Let me look, let me look. They're all genuine? Is this genuine right here? I think the blue flowers are, is the genuine one. Um, I don't know which one to get. Because I feel like this one took me a really long time the first time I played to get a genuine one. And I always see that statue with the, you know, sometimes there's a shovel, sometimes it doesn't. You guys are saying genuine. Oh, everything's real the first time? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Which one of these should I get based on whichever one you guys feel is the hardest? I'm going to put up a poll in chat, so if you're live, you can vote. Um, we're going to call this one two, three, and then four is down here. That makes sense? One, two, three, four. I'm putting it, I'm not gonna put their actual names because I'm lazy, so I'm just putting a poll. Um, which one should I buy? And it's gonna be one, two, three, or four. And here's the poll. Um, and I'm just gonna buy these items while we're waiting. Oh wait, maybe I should be careful because I wanna make sure I have enough money to buy this. 1300 yes. Does Dinkum have a hard mode? No, but I imagine you could come up with a similar rule set and abide by it. And I think Dinkum might have difficulty you can change, but I don't think it changes any of the rules of the game. 4200 for a candy machine? What are you, nuts? Oh, three is, three is winning. Hard mode is a custom rule set. Uh, Nintendo Talk came up with this. And we are we are following all of these rules. And I know it looks intimidating, but once you start to get the hang of it, um, it's not as bad as it looks. But it's I, it's easy for me to say that because I was already kind of playing the game with like half these rules because <laughs> of the way I play. Um, but yeah. I think the jolly painting is real because there's a little stem coming out of its chest. So yeah, th these are all real. Um, based on that, it looks like the, it's a pretty tough contest right now. Uh, a lot of you are passionate about number one, number two has a lot of votes, and then number three, the, the, the painting here that I was thinking about getting. I feel like I influenced that a little bit, but uh, that also has quite a few votes. There's there's definitely more of you that could vote if you want to. It's just a poll in chat right now. We're picking between these three pe four pieces of art. One, two, three, or four. Just click which one you think I should buy, and I will buy it. Um, it's my first piece of art. They're all genuine. Can we visit other people's islands for NPCs? I I thought the rule there was no. But yeah, some people say if it's not the rules, it's fair game. And some people say you can only visit on Sundays. 
So I don't know. Help, I can't see one. It's the, it's this one. I'll get a closer look here. That's more expensive than usual, isn't it? So that's number one. The wet floor sign is genuine. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> the wet floor sign is genuine. Um, I'm going to pick number three, I guess, because a lot of time has passed and that's still winning. And that was the one I was going to pick anyway. Um, so I'm going to pick it. Thank you for your votes. That was like all my money. You can go to other islands and fish and catch bugs, etc. Wait, for real? Huh. What do you guys think the rules are there? It's really hard to get all the art. Even with 2.0, it's not going to be super... Oh! He just sneezed on me. I was checking my phone, and as soon as I stopped, he sneezed right in my face. Why? You can, but you cannot shop? Gonna have to do poor core now. <laughs> Only other hard mode players? Quarantine. <laughs> can we, question, can we visit other hard mode players during a uh, day for fishing bugs, designs? Um, or just Sunday. Yes, fun things like that are encouraged. Just resist buying and selling unless it's turnips on Sunday. Okay, so resist buying and selling unless it's turnips on Sunday. But buying and selling from each other's stores or just from other players. I think hard mode should be your pink core era. I don't want. I don't want that though. When's the vaccine you need it? <laughs> I started hard mode. I this morning. I feel so behind. It's okay. We're all in this together. If you're it's, if you're a little bit behind, that's okay. I if I hope you're in our Discord. We do have a Sunday market Discord, so on Sundays, folks who are in hard mode are encouraged to visit and uh, you know go to each other's islands. If you go to the Southern Hemisphere Island, there in the summer, a lot of high dollar bells is spawning. Once you catch a hundred, I don't know. Really, this is how Pat has it in the Q and A. So the even even our Q our Q&A section is a little bit confusing. Uh, like, uh, sh it says, uh, like, avoid the temptation to shop, but I don't know, like, if that means people can't use my store in red and stuff. Ah, uh, no buying and selling, basically, just social activities. So, so you guys are taking it as, like, no, that includes you can't go into, like, Able Sisters and buy a cool hat that you see. I'm happy with those rules. I just wanted, I, I just want to make sure we're, we're abiding by them. That's all. All right, well, sorry, Kato. No art for you. That's all that means. And you were bullying me earlier anyway, so... I, I guess that wasn't too hard of a choice to begin with. Only on Sunday. Okay, cool. Let's go take care of these fossils. Dan's lawful neutral. <laughs> Is this another switch, or did you restart your island, or both? Uh, both. I have two switches. This was Mahalo. This was my gold core island. It's gone, and my original island remains. And then now we have this one. Dan hates me confirmed. You came in here and told everybody I have no teeth. So I don't know what you're talking about. It was the first thing. Literally, we barely even said hello. It was the first thing that happened. It's been documented. All right. This is going to satisfy our last times two Nook Miles achievement. No, 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 you have teeth now. Oh, did you did you deem it okay to consider me with teeth? Now everyone can assume I have teeth because you said it was okay? All right. Oh, wow, that's two fossils that I can give as gifts. Sweet. You got them for Christmas. I don't like this fanfic. It's just, I feel, I feel like it's pretty mean. All right, yay, two free fossils for me. I offset my island today, so there's a better chance to offer visitors something else to buy if I'm visiting, 
If I have a visiting NPC. Oh, cool. That's uh, that's very crafty of you. It's sketchy. I like it. All right, that was our last Nook Miles achievement. Now, we need to do some things that are going to amount to some Nook Miles. I was thinking of diving because we know there's going to be some nice early big fat Nook Miles achievements for catching sea critters and I can donate some and a lot of them I can sell and I need the money. So I'm thinking of doing that. I'm also going to go in here and I'm going to craft up some more um, icy stuff because I caught all the snowflakes and I wanted to make some money. So let's grab our large snowflakes and let's put away some other stuff here. Look at all this. All right, perfect. Uh, we're gonna learn those. Like, surely I'm not just talking about Dan getting teeth for Christmas and no one knows the reference. I just thought you were trying to relive your glory days bullying people in elementary school. That's the, that's the only thing I thought you were referencing. Just just classic Kato moments from childhood. Uh oh yes, I was crafting ice items. Sorry, this trauma is making me really it's, it's being really like clouded in the brain right now. Let's craft. None of us has teeth in this game. Uh, we're going to craft the new frozen treats that we got. Awful Gaming, how's it going? Does watering trees actually help them grow faster? It does not. Did someone tell you that? Because that's also bullying. And I won't stand for it. Okay, I think I literally just used every snowflake I have on those two ice things. What did I just walk into? Uh, <laughs> don't ask. Super McQueen, how's it going? Okay. I don't know how much money this is worth, but we're going to find out. All right. Hopefully enough to buy um, something else from here. What do we got? Some good, some good. 14,000. Hey. I'll take that. That means I can buy this popcorn maker now. Move. Sweet. And 3,500 for the freezer. <sighs> Am I ever going to use this? I'm actually not. I'm not going to buy it. I know, right? I'm not buying something. But I don't I don't want to just spend all my money. Plus I want some wallpapers and stuff. All right. Grab this. So many wallpapers and floors. Ideally, I want all of this stuff. I'm trying to control myself, but it's hard. Where are you going to put the extra villagers? I'm probably going to scatter them across the beaches so that once we start actually designing the island, I don't have to move them like seven times. The conversation is somehow unhinged today. Somehow? Tell me why I just now donated a tadpole to my museum. <laughs> Uh, so is it done now? Was that the last thing you needed to donate? Are you allowed to do Captain Islands on Harbor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe so. I didn't see anything against it. When you get three stars, you're flattening it because you want a different layout? I don't blame you. I'm tempted to as well. I'm already filling up the storage. <laughs> What is hard mode? Hard mode is a custom rule set that we're following. 
It's linked down below, but here's just a quick glimpse at it. All these rules need to be followed. Um, I think I've done all the things I'm supposed to do daily. So now we're just kind of chilling. Um, I need to go do the crafting or a customizing workshop real quick. And then I'm going to go diving for some sea creatures. Oh, nice. 2,000 points for storing things. going to be hard for me not to copy the layout of my past island because I loved it. I'm, I'm trying to think of what to do because the island is called Canyon Duck and it is tempting to make a canyon somewhere. Oh my gosh, this is the second time you stopped me today. I was going to help you out with one of those useful reactions. Kind of stumped. Apologetic. All right, nice. Did I just normal talk to you today? Let's see. Let me just ask what the latest is. Monday nights used to be when my favorite TV show came on. That show was actually the first place I'd ever heard of those long sandwiches. You know, like hoagies, grinders, heroes, subs. I've never heard of them before. How bizarre is that? Huh. Huh. They don't often talk about TV shows they watch. Well, sometimes they do. Uh, you might have heard today's broadcast that I'm now offering a new workshop on customization. I think you'll find the D uh, you'll find DIY even more fun when you master this skill. I do hope you'll take me up on this opportunity. You bet I will. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to, didn't mean to do that. Take workshop. All right, here we go. I have. I bet everyone has an idea of what sherry smells like. <laughs> okay, I have. A, a, I believe a brief explanation about customizations in order. You'll need the item you want to customize with customization kits. Customize them with a workbench. Uh, you'll understand once you get started. The goal is to make a wooden wardrobe, then do some customizing. The wardrobe you'll make, as well as closets, chests, other items, store clothes, quite useful. Use easily change clothes. Okay, thanks. Uh, okay, okay. You're going to need a DIY recipe for it first. Wait, is he going to make me craft the thing that I'm supposed to be customizing for his workshop that he set up? Okay, that's stupid. So now I need to make a wooden wardrobe. I wouldn't have... Whatever. I wouldn't have come empty-handed if I knew I was going to be put to work in this way. Get ketchup for the duck canyon. I want to. I want to get all ducks, but that's not really possible with this rule set. But I think it'd be awesome if I could. Okay. Um, I don't know what kinds of wood to use, so I'm just going to grab all these. Um, let's look at the recipe. I need 12 regular old wood. That's unfortunate because I don't have that. How do I have so much stuff? I'm a bit of a hoarder. Yeah, that's that's my excuse. It's worth it for the free customization kits. How many does he give you? Does he give me a good bit? They go fast. All right. I will make a flimsy axe. We're not sure Dan has been sleeping since hard mode started. I actually legitimately got way less sleep last night than I have previous nights, and I'm feeling it right now. But I didn't play since since the uh, last stream. I didn't play. I think I think I just got uh, a bad luck night or something. I, I just couldn't. I just could not fall asleep. Twelve feels like a lot. Isn't that crazy? Look what they're doing to me. All right. I'm glad to get bells and items from trees. Oh, that shaking a tree scared away a snowflake? Yeah. 
Maybe this is enough trees. Let's take out our axe and chop away. I'm not a fan of the hardcore Animal Crossing thing, but love your streams. Oh, thanks. I'm having fun with it. I think ultimately what I really needed was an excuse to restart the game. I'm not I'm not big on restarting because there's a lot of things to collect in Animal Crossing. It's kind of a slow burn, long term kind of project in Animal Crossing Island. But the beginning stages of this particular Animal Crossing game are so fun. And then restricting myself in some certain ways is kind of fun too. So I'm enjoying it. I am barely getting any of the regular pieces of wood that I need. We gotta pick some weeds today too, oh my gosh. I didn't shake these down here. I'm trying to destroy this axe now. Just in case you didn't know, you need to break a hundred axes to get the golden axe recipe. So I've decided I'm not gonna make the nicer stone axe that lasts longer because that's counterintuitive. There it goes. So yeah, if you're if you're playing and you're in the same position I'm in where you uh, you're trying to collect all the gold tools and stuff, just break axes. I just read the rules seems pretty hard. Good luck. Thank you. I think the toughest part because I have I I am at heart a completionist. The toughest part is going to be the villager photos. Having a villager move away, like, and I have I have no control over it, that is a bit gut wrenching. <laughs> That's gonna be a tough one, but we'll do our best. I don't think it's gonna be possible to get every single photo of every single villager who ever lives on your island. If that's your goal throughout your hard mode playthrough, I wish you luck. I think it could be done. I think it's just gonna be incredible RNG. Like you have to get really lucky. If you're playing by the rules and you see a villager with a thought bu bubble on their head, you have to talk to them. And if you're playing by the rules and that villager wants to leave, you have to let them go. So if you're still working on them, still giving them gifts and trying to get their photo, good luck. If you black out uh, twice from being stung, do you have to reset? No. <laughs> I would be a lot less reckless if that was the case. Love watching people play hardcore because it makes me feel like I have uh, company while playing organically. Nice. Yeah, you know what's great about the timing of this? Is a lot of people just got Animal Crossing for the first time. So it's, it's nice that uh, a lot of new players get to see all these awesome Animal Crossing content creators kind of come together and play the game as if it's their first time playing, which it's definitely not. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Sorry, is what an important aspect of the game? Looking forward to the villager rules. Otherwise, I wouldn't let anyone leave. Um, gifting to one a day makes that almost impossible, too. It does. Of course, collecting every villager photo is a speedrun, but not hard mode. Uh, let's see. I'm surprised my villagers don't think I need glasses or something because I bump into everything. <laughs> is getting the photos an important aspect of the game? I think it is. To me, it's just I love collecting, and that's this is a game that's inherently about collecting. So getting getting all the photos is like one of those things, and it it hurts to to think about because you're like, oh gosh, I can only gift one villager a day. So how am I supposed to build up enough friendship points? to make sure that I get everyone's photo before they inevitably ask me if they can move away forever. That's going to be tough. But I'll, I'll try. I think that makes the photos more special, right? Will, do I, will I do a hard mode dream stream? Well, as much as I can do one, because you can only... 
use 10 tickets. It's over there on the left under villager rules towards the bottom. The max number of tickets you can use on a hunt is 10. If you get to the 10th ticket, you must take that villager or autofill. So I can't do like a four hour stream of just, you know, hunting. But I do plan on doing as much of that during stream as I can. I think they mean dream addresses. Oh, sorry. What what was the question? A hard mode dream stream. Um, maybe I read that wrong. That's funny. Uh, hard mode dream stream. Yes, probably. This is my switch that's kind of always on my desk, so it's the easiest one to log into to like do dream streams. So this will probably be the character that I use to visit Dream Islands. It won't break any rules. As long as I don't take any designs while I'm there, like take them back with me and try and use them, we should be good. Did someone ask about villager hunting? Oh, someone did it say, what villagers do I have on my island? Maybe that's where I got villager hunting streams from. Uh, villagers on the island currently are Rory, Sherry, and Sherb. We also have Rosie and... Sky moving in over the next two days. So I got some pretty good, um, you know, starting villagers. Only hard mode islands? No, no, we'll, we'll do, you know, if I do dream streams coming up here, we'll do regular old dream streams. All right, I got to go diving. I don't know why I'm picking weeds. I just started doing this. Can smell sherry from here. Everyone's so mean. You got barreled on an autofill. Nice. Congrats. Okay. Let's start diving. Actually, maybe I should go home first just to <laughs> do this with a cleaner inventory. My goal right now is to fill up on sea creatures and bring home a boatload of money. My favorite part of hard mode challenge so far would probably be the economy rules. I I like how it's going to force the community aspect upon us. If we want to get a bunch of cool items to decorate our islands with, we're going to need to trade with one another. And I also appreciate the limits on how many I how many people can visit your island because it means I'm not going to spend all day trading. It's like, nope. I've already had my 5 people. Them's the rules. You might be right about CJ and Flick showing up when resident services is fully upgraded. It'd be nice to have them soon <laughs> because I'm sitting on quite a pile of insects, but uh, that's okay. So means something a storage shed. That'd be great. Although it's just going to be more tempting to fill it up. Okay, here we go. We are on the hunt for sea critters. This one's on the run. Oh, no, it's not. Gotta love the early January swim. How do you not drown while swimming? I'm real good at it. Storage should be a million bells because you have to upgrade the house all the way to get it. Oh, redo? Oh, I didn't know that. Be nice if the challenge lasts a long time. Yeah, I, I think it will. I think we'll definitely have a good long run at this because but there okay, so I have two theories. There's a point in which the challenge becomes a bit stale only because you end up just playing and playing and playing and acquiring wealth and you'll get a lot of items and you know, you'll you'll be able to start decorating your island. But it's gonna be a much longer time until we get there as hard mode players. So I think we're going to have a nice long run where we're just like really desperate for Sundays to do the villager or villager uh, to do the Sunday markets and all that trading and stuff so we can build up our catalogs. And yeah, I, I definitely think if you, if you play hard mode by the rules, it's going to be a much slower burn than it was when everyone first got the game. So as long as everybody stays 
relatively engaged. Yeah, I think I think this is a nice fresh wave of, you know, Animal Crossing fun for everybody. What happens if you time travel backwards? Um, well, it'll spoil your turnips. As far as negative consequences, I think that's it. You'll think we'll lose half the players. I think, yeah, people will people will start and then stop kind of early. But ultimately, um, I plan on playing this for a bit. I was kind of I, I was kind of looking forward to a break from Animal Crossing after I finished the Gold Core Island, and I took a, a brief break from it. And this kind of came up at a time where I'm like, I want to play, but I don't know what to do. And yeah, this worked. This worked out for me pretty well. So far, I don't think I've gotten any new sea creatures. I forgot to do my daily visitor. Luckily, the day ended in real life, but it's Animal Crossing is 5 a.m. Oh, right, right, right. They stay pretty late. Rule clarification for visiting other hard mode player M for NPCs. You cannot visit another player's island for their NPC visitor. This is with the exception of bug and fish and cornies. Okay. Okay, thank you for uh, helping us clarify that. So the question earlier was if you have Red on your island, for example, and Red has an awesome piece of art, but it's not like the Sunday market, like let's say just a Tuesday, can can someone come over and buy from Red? And according to the hard mode uh, rules, no. Boo, but also fine. <laughs> as long as, excuse me, as long as it's been clarified, I'm good. What about star showers? I would imagine, I know I'm not speaking for Pat or anything, but I would imagine doing meteor showers together is part of like the fun of playing Animal Crossing with your friends. So I don't think that would, because yes, you can get more sh more stars by having people come and do like the meteor shower with you. But like, that's a pretty good excuse to hang out too. So I think it'd be a little bit silly to, to make that against the rules. I can see it being against the rules if we're worried about getting too much wealth from star fragments, but it's it's not like they happen every night, you know? Can you do Flick and CJ? It doesn't sound... I think Flick and CJ count as NPC visitors. Ooh, this might be new because I haven't had anything run away from me like this yet. Get it! There we go. You asked one of Pat's mods who asked Pat. Pearl Oyster... I got stars on my first day doing hard mode. It was so exciting. <laughs> I feel the gumball machine. Oh, hold on. Where is it? Where am I going? What's happening right now? I think I can catch up. No. Go, 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 go. What about the gumball machine? Pat said, yes, you can visit for shooting stars. No flick and CJ. You can't change... Oh, you can't sell to other people. Islands anyway? I avoid NPCs. I still want to visit friends, islands, and collect bugs and fish. Sorry, my, my eyes are going cross-side with uh, all the questions and stuff, but I'm trying to keep up. Can someone explain the Pascal thing? I've never seen him in game. You have to catch a scallop. And if you catch a scallop, you can do one of two things. You'll be greeted by Pascal, who loves scallops. And he'll ask you to give him the scallop. And you can tell him yes or no. If you tell him yes, he'll give you an item or a recipe. If you tell him no, he'll be like, oh. Okay. And you get to keep the scallop. Uh, if you catch two scallops in one day, he's only going to show up the first time. Like, the first time you catch a scallop in a day, he'll show up. And that's it. You won't see him again if you catch two, three, four scallops. But once a day, you can run into him, provided you catch a scallop. Where's my snorkel? Oh, I don't know. I uh, I never needed one because I grew up by the ocean. That's how that works. Pat purchased from someone else's leaf on Sunday when he was at the market. Yeah, as far as I understand, that's when you're allowed to, like purchase from other people's stores and stuff that's how i understood it because you were like I, I thought right sunday was like the free rain kind of day but i've also heard 
accusations of Pat using... Uh, oh, here we go. You're going to be Pascal right now. I got, a, I got a scallop. Unfortunately, this is my very first scallop, so I'm going to donate it to the museum. But if I were to give it to Pascal, I would get something in return. I'm going to keep it. That's cool. Scallops come and go, but the sea will always be there. So I cannot do that again today because I already, I already rejected him. You got a 10k balloon today too? Nice. Yeah, I just got one of those a little while ago. Nintendo, a lots of false accusations. Yes. Yeah. So Kato was in here accusing you of changing the rules for yourself. And I told her, well, that's fine because he made the rules. How are you? I have a different problem, Nintendo. I'm glad you're here. Um, you see, I have to file a complaint because thanks to the rule about having to update, not update, about having to make my island name through a random generator, I got this name. Oh, wait, I can't look at my map while I'm swimming. It's Canyon Duck. And now people won't stop throwing duck puns at me. They keep shouting duck puns wherever I go, and so I demand satisfaction. I did buy from Leaf on an island per the owner's permission. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we were, <laughs> all joking aside, we were wondering if it's cool to buy from other people's NPCs on a Sunday market day. Because as, as I understand it, you can't do that on a regular old day. But if it's Sunday, then you can go into people's stores and their NPCs and all that fun stuff. That ducking sucks. See? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Wait. I just lied. Pascal comes back. I told him no and he took my scallop. I wasn't even like paying attention just now because I was reading chat. Oh my gosh. Cool. I thought I thought I had lost my chance to do this again. Yes. Okay. I got to have it both ways. I got a Pascal item today and I got a scallop to donate to the museum. Those puns are so are all quacked up. Oh my gosh. So yeah, um, that's my complaint. Everything else is fine. It's just it's just the puns, man. I, all I wanted to do was have a nice time playing Animal Crossing. And and this entire chat is just completely distracted by Canyon Duck and the puns. And it just, you know, it gets old. Yeah, I thought Pascal said, oh, well, I guess, I guess screw you then. And never, never came back on a day where you told him no. <laughs> Did they vote on it? Yeah, so I had four names that the random number generator spat out that were pretty decent. And they all voted for Canyon Duck, except for the people who didn't. But most of them voted for Canyon Duck, which is how, which is how the democracy here works. So I allowed it, and I regret it. The name is too iconic not to make puns. These puns are beak entertainment, though. Is that supposed to be peak entertainment? Is that... Stop it. Kenny Duck was the best. There were some good ones in there that I don't remember because this was the most memorable one, but there were some pretty good ones. They changed it so Pascal comes back after saying no in 2.0. Oh, that's cool. So, um... Oh, I can't show you the sweater. Oh, yes, I can. Hold on. I got a recipe. The one good thing that came out of Canyon Duck was my awesome new getup. Check that out. It's a duck shouting for help. He doesn't want to live here anymore. I can't really blame him. Another another thing that was disappointing about the rules is that I can't have an island full of ducks because they'll they'll definitely want to move away before that ever happens. But that's okay. Uh, all right. I think we got some decent nook miles from this. Oh, that was it. I thought we got more. He ducking hates it here. I do. All these puns are just w us winging it. I want it to stop. It has to stop. You guys know the rules. No puns. You're just showing off now. Can you use Amiibo? Uh, no. No, you cannot use Amiibo. Brings Bane linking the rules as if it's actually in there. These puns are foul. Stop. 
Ultra hard modes somehow end up with an island full of the same species of villager. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that. It's It feels literally not possible. The the RNG involved. If you don't, yeah, if, if you, let's say you have that happening. Let's say nine out of ten villagers are ducks and one leaves. You have to reset and start all over. All right, I'm going to dump the sea creatures in Nook's Cranny now. Are we allowed to trade villagers? That's a good question. I think, right, that shouldn't matter if, if you're doing it legitimately and not, like, trying to manipulate the uh, game mechanics, right? But I don't know. That's a good question. Artsy, you could, but because of the limitation of time travel, it'd be tricky to time that. I'll sell Raymond to you, Artsy, for 5 million pills. <laughs> In this market, that's kind of a bargain. It's Raymond, after all. Feels like it should be impossible, but first three hunted villagers are all horses. That's a good start. That's a really good start. I gotta do the fruits. I also keep having to pull up your rules because I keep, I'm bad at math and I keep messing up the, so I can get eight coconuts. There's four trees. Okay, that's eight coconuts. We can sell those. I'm trying to set myself up to get some cash tomorrow. What happens if you break a rule? Um, you have to delete your YouTube channel. If it's an accident, you're allowed to beg for forgiveness. You have to email Susan over at YouTube and uh, you can beg for forgiveness. And if she doesn't get back to you in five days, you have to delete your YouTube channel. I'm also trying to make the market more brutal. These one week price, these week one prices were weak, more weak. So can we expect an update to the rules? Um, that is, a, oh, this is the third time she's coming up to me today. I got you a portable radio. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I had another question too. When you say week one prices, do you mean the donation we have to put on someone's island when we go there? I'll hold you these standards. Oh, that was way more than eight coconuts. Yeah, see, I almost had to delete my YouTube channel. Good old PB. <laughs> Leave her alone. You meant the market prices? Oh, wait, so there's going to be limitations on what we can can or can't charge? Can we get an updated graphic? Yes, please, can we get an updated graphic? Can we get one where the spacing is just a little bit different for those of us who get real cross-eyed real easy? <laughs> Sometimes I get really lost. I'm starting to, I'm starting to memorize most of them, though. Okay, 1,600 co uh, for coconuts. That's that's fine. Sell it. Get rid of them. And then what is it? Is it 20? It's 27 other fruits. Nine trees. I think that's 27. I'm going to have to make a graphic for each section. That would be... Yes. Yes. Don't forget to put your logo on it this time. That's a good call out. Uh, oh, that's points. Why do ducks never ask for directions? They prefer to wing it. Oh my gosh. Why aren't you selling them to Nook's Cranny? It's against the rules. I can't do that. I have to sell them in the uh, bin, and I can only sell so many. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get ahead here with cash. All right, how many is that? Not quite enough. We're just gonna do pears because all of my other fruits were planted and they're still growing. It would be nice to sell the non-native fruit, but uh, that's not happening. Because I'm saving the rest of it for more planting, I think. Why am I saving the rest of it? Let me go look and see how much I have. Because I think I actually, oh, wait a minute. I do have pretty good FAQ in the Discord too. I feel like there's a million questions. Yeah, I need to I need to get in there and see. 
I did not know until today that there was an FAQ. It, I feel like all we've done since Nintendo got here is talk about all the things that we're confused about or would change, which isn't fair. Um, thank you for setting up this rule set. It's pretty awesome. I'm very much enjoying myself. Quick, everyone ask my Pat, Pat more questions. Or do that. Never mind. I was trying to, I was trying to, you know, break that trend, but I've, I've failed. All right, let's dump all of this stuff and then see how many other fruits that I have. Uh, okay. Oh, we did get oranges and I think I was saving those for planting. Okay. I'm not going to sell those. I take it as people are invested, so it's all good. Yeah, I, I people are invested enough to delete their whole islands. I deleted a, uh, my gold core island, and everyone everyone got all upset. I told them I was doing it, and they still came in and told me no, and I did it anyway. What does hard mode even mean? How do you play on hard mode? Uh, all you do is you follow these rules. I know it looks like a lot, but you'll you'll get used to them. You follow these rules. And that's how you play hard mode. It's it's a self-imposed rule set. They are linked down below. And they might change soon. At which point we'll have to update our links. Is there a place? Uh, wait, hardcore section ask questions. If you go to Nintendox Discord, there is there is a lot of that going on. Uh, evidently there's an FAQ. Okay, that's 24, 25. I think this will be 27 fruits. I really hope I did the math right on this. Okay, don't sell that one. Okay. Crunch, 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 crunch. As I run through the snow to sell some fruit. All right, so that's all the fruit selling I can do. Nintendo, please let us scan our NPC amiibos for their posters. I need Rossetti, one in my house, and that's fine as long as, but you couldn't sell it. I see, that makes sense. Okay, so if you scan amiibos, you also can't use them to invite people, correct? Like you can't, you can't just scan in Sherb and be like, well, I just wanted Sherb on my island. That's how I understood it. Same thing with Sanrio stuff, just can't sell it. And then the uh, someone brought up Happy Home. I was going to ask about that too. Happy Home feels like an opportunity, once you unlock it, to really get ahead. Because it doesn't take long to get to a point where you're ordering whatever you want from their catalog. You know, your customized bunch of houses. Are you thinking of updating everything uh, for that? Because that, that occurred to me as well. Hi everyone, while you are here, what are the hard mode rules on having multiple players on one island if they are also doing hard mode? Hey Redhead, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Uh, we were talking about that earlier, um, and I believe it was that they can't just come over to buy stuff from other NPCs, but they can come over to hang out and things like that. And then I forgot what was said about Sunday market days, if they're allowed to buy from stores or not, because I think I might have missed that or no one answered me, one or the other. <laughs> We need to get a link for Nintendox Discord so that uh, you guys can check out the FAQ over there. It might make it easier. Uh, cool you Sanrio stuff, need butt rugs. <laughs> it, it, it's good for, Sanrio is great for, um, what do you call it? Happy home points. Getting all your rooms just themed out with Sanrio stuff. All right. I'm just picking weeds now, which I know is riveting. But I keep seeing weeds, and I have to stop and keep collecting them. Happy Home is a great area. I didn't want to include it because some don't have it. I told people not to abuse it. Yeah. <laughs> Tough to make a call. 
I'm trying to think of like a good way to include it. What if what if you just had an honor system rule whereby if you're going to do happy home, you have to at least decorate the villagers' houses. You can't just like take and cheat by you know how you can just give the villager the three items they want and then you buy, just buy, leave. Maybe it's an honor system rule. It's like, hey, if you're going to do that, you actually have to do a good job. Like, you've got to actually try to decorate their house. That's how I play already. Because this, this challenge feels tailor-made for me because this is a lot of this stuff is what I do already. So when I play Happy Home, I try not to, like, have that temptation to cheat by just giving them their three items and walking away. Limit how many items you can buy from Happy Home a day? They only They already limit you to five in the catalog. But it still unlocks, like, every item and every customization of it. No speedrunning Happy Home? Yeah, that's kind of when... That's, yeah, that's how, that's how I meant to say that. Maybe you can only buy what's in Wardell's shop. Maybe not allowed to do Poke Transfer. Oh, yeah, because that would be... Someone in my chat said that the other day. Like, oh, when you get to Happy Home, that's going to be, like, a huge moneymaker. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Treat like the Sunday market. You can only purchase limited amount one Poke Exchange on Sundays. What if what if uh, it was like Happy Home Mondays or something? Yeah, you can only do it on a certain day. You get one Happy Home visit per week, but when you're there, do whatever. Well, maybe the the yeah no, you can only do a limited Poke transfer anyway, right? Like they don't let you do infinite Poke transfer while you're there, so. Yeah, that could be kind of interesting. It could be like a vacation day. That's what you call it. Because they already designed it like a, a getaway package. Kind of like the Nook getaway package, but for Happy Home. You meant living on one island as, pro as in profiles. So multiple profiles on one island. You know why I never do that? I, I don't want the extra accounts on my Switch that aren't owned by actual people. That always, that always to me, <laughs> drives me nuts. But I didn't think of that. People might get extra profiles. Yeah, one day for Happy Home. I, I think that's, I think it's a pretty swell idea. Happy Home Hump Day every Wednesday is Happy Home, <laughs> Happy Home Day. There you go. I think I've collected every weed on this like main section of the island. All right, what are my current Nook Miles tasks? Because I want more... I, I can't sell the weeds because I can't sell the leaf, but I want more points. Catch a goldfish. Oh, I hate catching goldfish. Um, Can we even catch these beetles? Are these in season? Is this game actually trying to have me catch something that's not in season right now? Or am I supposed to go to a, an island to catch these? Catching and catching bugs in general in winter is just a huge pain. I thought I would do those to collect points, but <laughs> there's a few there that feel uh, it is in season. You need a stump. Oh, it's that kind of beetle. I was thinking of uh, the tree trunk beetles. I'm sorry. Oh, I hear a mole cricket too. We should probably try and catch that. There's nothing on that stump. Let's let's waste our time trying to catch a mole cricket. These give me so much anxiety. Oh, I hate them. There it is. Get him. Oh, go to Harv's? Can we do that? He's still walking around my island. I did talk to him. Yeah, let's try that. We should also do our Nook Miles Island for the day and try and just collect some supplies too. What are the rules for having multiple people playing hard mode in the same Switch? Um, yeah, that was being asked about. I, uh, I have a question back to you. What If it's multiple people, like actual humans sharing a Switch, what... What would need to change? Couldn't you all just kind of abide by hard mode? Or would that would it complicate things if you're sharing an island? 
Uh, fly? Harv's Island. Harv's Island? I know what you're talking about. For Happy Home, perhaps we can only purchase the items out in the store and office and not scroll through the catalog. Oh yeah, that's an option too. I don't think the market on Harv's can be open until after three stars. Yeah, I think we uh, we just have the photo studio right now. I guess all the people on the island would need to share the nine trees and crops. It would be more difficult. Yeah, when you put it that way, that yeah, that does sound tough. Someone said you have to take a photo in Harv's studio to like... I think that's nonsense, though. To, to unlock the, the market. But maybe going through this little tutorial he's going to give us is not a bad thing to do anyway. Annabelle, how's it going? Everyone playing on the same island would probably have to have their own area for harvesting. Yeah, if everyone had like their own designated farm, would that be something? Like they're not allowed to use each other's farms? Um, I'm not really paying attention to anything Harv's saying right now. Um... I, do we have to do tell you tell me more to complete this? I don't know. You just need three stars for the market to unlock. Okay. All right, I'll I'll get him to shut up then. While we're here though, we should probably take some photos because I've realized that I haven't taken any photos with this character. <laughs> I keep having to go on my other character and on my other switch and like take thumbnail photos for these. So let's get a couple of reactions real quick. I only have a couple. Oh, this room is terrible. What is going on? I didn't decorate this. Okay. Yeah, just very generic walls and floors, please. Thank you. You're just trying to think of more questions to ask. Oh, that's weird. It's not letting me go into first person. Why is that? I thought you could do first person. Do you have to? Oh, no, you unlock that ability later. I forgot about that. Okay, fine. I'll do this the old school way. All right. If you ever wondered how to take thumbnail photos, this is basically how you do it. Um... Wow, I have like no reactions. Let's try that again. I'll just get one of me staring off into space, one of me waving, and one of me clapping. And there we go. That's, <laughs> that's all I can do because I have no reactions. I would have totally had three pages of rules. It would have been so intimidating for people. We need a binder. What if you released a series of design codes and all the rules were printed on signs and then people could just plant them around their islands and follow them that way? That way, if they ever need to reference anything, they'll just have signs everywhere. Sign core, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that's, a, that's a great system. With so many people watching, everyone should like the stream. Oh, look at that. Ditsy using the five-month call-out for stream likes. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks for being a member. You're going to print that off at work tonight? Rule binder would just mean people coming up with more loophole questions. <laughs> That's true. Uh, let's donate the mole cricket before I lose it. Mole crickets are usually one of the bugs I catch much later in the game because I can't stand them. So I definitely want to make sure that I get rid of this thing. There we go. Cool. That's done. I'm glad it's gone. Excellent. Uh, what's next? I 
think uh, we should still keep going for uh, some Nook Miles. Let me see. Oh, you know what I want to check? I was going to say, what if we crafted a bunch of stuff? Because there's usually achievements, you know, the, the larger scale achievements are crafting a bunch of things. Before I do that, what if we check the hot item of the day? Maybe we can make some money and start chipping away at this loan. That would be nice. Clothesline. That is not a tough item at all. For that, we're just going to need sticks, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's make some clotheslines. Not the best item. But it's something. How is hard mode? I'm liking it a lot. I'm definitely excited to, like sit down and, and really like play Animal Crossing again besides just coming on to do my dailies. Paid off your 5,000 Nook Mile alone in an hour. 98k will kill me. Gonna hold a direct for hard mode 2.0 at this rate. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Uh, okay. Put those away. Let's grab all my crafting materials and see if we can make some cash. I'm tempted not to grab things I'm low on. Like, we can grab hardwood because I got a whole stack of it. I got a stack of iron, some stone. I don't want to run myself completely out of materials, though. Let's also put out an empty can to catch a fly. Oh. Weren't we supposed to be making a wardrobe? I completely forgot about the wardrobe. We were, Tom Nook's just sitting there waiting for me. All right, we'll do that later. <laughs> Oops. Uh, here, let me put this can just next to the trash can. He just missed it. Ah, hate living in the city. Okay, let's craft a bunch of these. This will be worth all my sticks. The basic wallpaper and floor in your house make me sad. I'm sorry. I don't have, like, anything. Should we, before the stream's over, should we decorate my house with whatever I do have? I've been saving my items for flea market day, but that seems silly. I should probably decorate a little bit. The happy home people have been getting on my back anyway. How long does it take to start happy home from the beginning? Wait, what do you mean? Like... How long until we get access to the island? Isn't that isn't that also at three stars? A lot of stuff is just at three stars. You're allowed nice things, Dan. Okay, but I don't have nice things. I just have a in a, a collection of things. An eclectic mix of nonsense. You don't need three stars for happy home. What do you need? It just, as soon as I bought it, it just gave it to me because I was so far along in the game. It unlocks once your resident services unlocks, like the day after. Oh, okay. That's not too bad, then. Is this cheating, by the way? Making hay bales to sell weeds, not to leaf? Is that my cheating? It's a crafted item. I'm going to do it. Unless you tell me I'm cheating. And then I'll probably have an inner conflict. Should I just sell it anyway? It's my game. I just do what I want. Then again, it wouldn't be in the spirit of the rules. Yeah, it'll be a whole thing. So I really hope this is fine. It's allowed? Those are just good strats. Okay, all right, good. Whew, okay. When uh, can we unlock cooking, though? Was cooking at three stars? Someone was saying a bunch of things happen at three stars. And I did not play... <laughs> Since the 2.0 update, I just have not played this far back. 22k selling weeds to leaf. I desperately want leaf to visit. You could farm weeds, just have... A strategically placed patch of them to grow every day. I've never thought about doing that. Okay. 
Okay, we should get a nice little haul here from the clotheslines and hay beds. Forty-eight hundred. That is not as much as I was hoping for. It's fine. It's just a little disappointing. Capture a memory? Oh boy. How about the time Timmy and Tommy completely robbed me? Memories. Thanks for the free points. Jerks. Oh, I have more. Yes. Sweet. Are you capped at your time travel days? I only did that at the very beginning. I'm, I'm going forward. I'm not doing any more time travel. Uh, technically, no. I don't think I'm capped, but I don't care because I'm not going to do it anymore. I kind of hate it. It was good for catching up with everybody, and then that's it. Okay. So we need to make a wardrobe. How do ducks propose with a wedding wing? Gosh darn it. Duck puns and dad jokes. A crossing minute memoir. Okay, I can make my wardrobe now. And we can customize it. And I may as well just go ahead and add it to my <laughs> furniture set. That is right here. I should probably collect enough stuff to make a proper bed, too. We'll work on it. You know what? Before we customize this, I should pick a floor and a wall that I like. I mean, that way I have, I'll have a better idea of what I want this to look like. Because we're about to decorate the house a little bit. So I'm going to see what I've got. We have this nice argyle tile. Uh, I kind of like this. It's just a, a nice office looking kind of floor. Very inoffensive. And then there's also the natural block, which is also pretty good. And... We could do this blue subway bathroom tile, but that's kind of ugly. White botanical wall is a little bit much. I don't think I can do accent walls yet. No. Okay. This looks like a prison cell, especially with the cot in the corner. Maybe we just keep it this basic wall. I don't really have a lot of options here. Luna will send you a bed soon. Oh, okay. Let's just keep it like this. Customized wooden wardrobe will look good. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I'm going to grab the mirror. And what other items might I want to customize here? Oh, let's customize the fences. And I'm thinking some white picket fence action. I don't really have a lot of stuff. Huh. Nope, that's fine. What I like about the basic wall is the curtains that you can close on the windows. And I wish more walls had that option. I can't do the fence yet? <sighs> what is the point of customizable fences if I can't customize the fence? Non-offensive core? Ugh, okay, I'm so disappointed. You've got the wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. Craft two fences, make sure you've... Craft two fences and make sure you've done the workshop. All right, here we go. What color do I want this furniture? Should we go blue? Let's go blue. He gave me 50 customization kits. Offensive. I was waiting for somebody to catch that. 
You have to wait to buy it, craft a few fences first. Okay. Uh, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. For the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you made as DIY projects. Some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. You might be able to change an item's fabric or add custom designs to it. Sweet. Let's customize my mirror. That was craft. Wooden wardrobe, full-length mirror, and then the hay bed can be customized as, customized as well. All right. Sweet. Oh, well, I don't have any supplies anyway. I will try crafting fences a little bit later because we're gonna go on a trip and gather up some supplies. I should have probably bought a ticket while I was in there, but we'll go back. I need to empty out my inventory first. Do I like Olaf the villager? Uh, can't put a face to the name. Purple Phoenix, enjoy your lurk. Okay, put that down and I guess I accidentally kept a hay bed, but that's not a big deal. All right. I will set up a little bedroom for myself here in the corner. Maybe something like that. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. We take the plant and we put that in the corner. There we go. And then we take these two things and put them here. I'm going to take this portrait of strangers and put it over there. I'm going to take something to put a lamp on, like this cardboard box, and shove that next to my bed, right about there. Eventually, I'll upgrade the bed. I'm going to make my own path designs. I'm thinking maybe, possibly. Maybe. But I'm not gonna. I'm not going to sweat it. Let's take the wet floor sign and we'll kind of put that here just so my guests know there could be something to worry about. Um, I'm going to freak people out. I'm going to take the toilet cleaning set and we're just going to put that kind of where the bathroom might be and we're just going to leave it there. Or should we actually put it here by the wet floor sign? I think that implies something a little more sinister. I'm going to I'm going to go with that. I did get a rock guitar that no one wanted when we did the market day, so I'm just going to tuck that in the corner and pretend I play guitar. Oh, put the picture on the wall. I forgot you could do that. That's kind of sad. Um yeah, let's Let's do that. Oh. Yes, let's put these strangers above my bed. Right there. I don't know who they are. They sent me their photo in the mail, and now I have it. We have kind of a laundry set up here. This is kind of cool. Let's move my living room over here. And yeah, what if we had a laundry machine kind of in the corner like this? That's kind of cool. Nice. Okay. Oh, uh, switch on top of the wardrobe, obviously. There we go. And I would love a little table for this record player. I could do something trashier like an outdoor bench and use that as a table and put that under the window. <laughs> There it is. Do I have any more wall hangables? I don't. Any rugs? Nope. Oh, you know what? We can hang... I can't wear this anyway. 
Let's put the leotard up in the laundry room. Right there. Perfect. For somebody who has no furniture, I think this is pretty good. Maybe I could put these sandals in the laundry room as well. I didn't mean to do that. Just to kind of add to the clutter a little bit. Leo, leotard decor. This is pretty good. You hung up all your clothes for inventory space. Smart. Has poor starving college student aesthetic. <laughs> it's awesome. I never decorate with items like this. This is great. Being Animal Crossing poor rocks. I also accidentally have a birthday cake. Um, that's a whole thing. I accidentally cheated. So here's what happened. On day one, I rolled us back to January 3rd, even though I started on January 7th. But I forgot I did that. And when I was setting my birthday, I'm like, oh, why don't we make it January 7th? So a whole year from now, it'll be our birthday. And then I continued to play and play and play and skip trying to catch up to the, the right day. And then my birthday rolled around and they sent me a cake. So I shouldn't have this. I just felt really bad about it. But now it's decor. And it's sitting by my bed in case I get hungry. Guess you have to delete your YouTube channel. Luckily for me, it wasn't in the rules. But it did still feel like cheating. Um, I'm going to close this curtain here. But I'm going to keep that one open. All right. Illegal crime cake. Cheater, cheater. I'm not going to sell it to anybody. It's just mine. I know in hard mode, birthday kicks are pretty rare. I got some points for that. That's cool. Is my inventory clear? No. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, to clip this moment. Oh, crud. Cake for emergency snacks. Okay. All I'm trying to do is get ready to go to an island. <laughs> Bed cake. A legal cake tastes the best. That is true. Is your birthday January 3rd? Well, no. I made the birthday January 7th, but I should have made it the 3rd since we, we started the clock on the 3rd. Uh, okay, I gotta buy a ticket in here. Start in spring, because snow is depressing. See, I, I like the snow, and I'm also looking forward to spring. I think it's... I, th I think it's uh, gonna be fun to kind of play through winter, catch all the winter bugs that I can, and fish. I'm excited. Nice. We're on our way. So we are on our way to completely destroy an innocent island. Just once, I would like to land on one of these islands that's already been visited by a player and they've destroyed it. Just to know that there is a limited amount of these things because it feels, it feels a little unbelievable that you'll never go to the same island twice. Much less someone else's. Dynamite Dory, how's it going? My birthday's coming up. I may be getting older, but at least I get Animal Crossing cake. <laughs> Gonna go to work on some stuff for college tomorrow. Purple Phoenix, enjoy. What progress point do villagers throw you a party? It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm unsure if I'll get the party or not. Uh, I did not get one. <laughs> <laughs> I only had the two villagers on the island, and they wished me happy birthday, but they didn't give me anything. No party, no gifts. And then 
the mother character sent me the cake. So. That's what we have to look forward to. You'll get cake and nothing from your neighbors. All right. Before I start chopping, let me let me go ahead and find all the furniture and wasps. Here we go. Imperial bed. I'll take it. Dead Shane, how's it going? Here we go. Boom. If they don't have homes, there's no to ho nowhere to host a party. They did have their own houses at this point. They weren't in tents still. Do you know your sister fruit is? It's oranges. And I now have all the fruits, which is awesome. So I'm pretty excited that fruit collecting is behind me. Peter, how's it going? I would assume the party starts after you've upgraded a resident services building. Yeah, I can see that. That makes sense. Grab this just in case. Oh, it's not a Nook Miles Plus. All right. Nice. There it goes. One axe down. I'm going to go ahead and try and make another... Uh, what do you call it? Axe. A good one. How do I find out mine? I have no clue about sister fruits. I'm sure there's a guide out there. I, I didn't know what mine was until I got to an island full of oranges. So basically, that's how that's how I always find out. I have pears, and so I traveled around and ended up on an island full of oranges. I'm like, oh, I guess that's my sister fruit. And then I was sent cherries from, again, the, the mom character upon moving to the island. So that was three. And then for the market, uh, people kept bringing me different fruits and we kept trading. So I ended up getting all those. Jen, Belly Nerds Club, welcome. Appreciate you. You enjoy your emotes. Native fruit is peaches. I, all I wanted was not pears. And that's what I got. I just scared a wharf roach, which makes me sad because I'm still trying to get five bugs and it's very difficult to do in the winter. The mom does not send you the sister fruit, it seems. So yeah, that's that's really good. I still don't know what people are going to do if they don't have Nintendo online and they're trying to collect all the fruits. It doesn't seem like Nintendo did anything to try and like make the other ones accessible. Maybe Happy Home, but I don't even know if that's true. My net's gone too? Dang. Okay, let's go. I'm just going to use uh, points to buy these two tools back. Alright, well, a new net. Addy, how's it going? I'm trying to get three stars. Isabel says I need to decorate the island. I've decorated so much. Planted trees, planted flowers. Why is it not going up? Uh, do fences. Try to put some fences down. I think those also count. No, I'm not ready to go home. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Whew. Okay. No, I was trying to buy an axe. Okay, perfect. Villagers give random fruit when you gift them? Does that still work? That used to work in the old days. Is that a thing now, too? 
because I remember when 2.0 came out, people were still like, how am I supposed to get all the fruits if I don't have Nintendo Online? Like a, a number of people were worried about that. So if that was remedied, that'd be nice. Oh, we got to catch this. Uh, here we go. Nice. You think they give the sister fruit? You got peaches that's in your OG town as well. Yeah, pears are also my OG town's fruit, which one, it's one more reason I'm sick of them. Okay, let's craft the axe. You think the fruit is the thing Nintendo uses to force online services? I guess, yeah, I guess it makes sense. It It is just the same price as, uh, you know, any other non-native fruit. So in theory, I guess they're not like taking any content from anybody, but I see it as them taking content away from people. Okay. Oh, there we go. Did I? Yes, I hit this rock already. And I hit the one up there. And we did not collect these. Check your home map. Red was on mine the whole time, and I kept thinking I had to visit NPCs until I randomly found him. Oh, I, I got. I already got Red today. I welcomed him to the island, and then he teleported back to his boat, and I went ahead and bought some art. Nintendo Switch, on Switch Online doesn't really have any perks besides playing Splatoon and Animal Crossing. I think they're trying to load it up with games and classic games and things like that. Um, I've, I've never been too upset about Nintendo Online because I always felt like their prices were a lot better than other online services I've subscribed to in the past. Like, for example, if you get a family account, like, it's actually pretty generous. You can put a lot of people on your family account, and the price is not too outrageous. So, compared to other online services, I've given them a pass there, but there are, you know, examples of people doing like free online services and stuff so I can see why it would be a sticking point for some people but you know one thing I appreciate if I'm to like look at the gaming industry as a whole one thing I appreciate about Nintendo is and I can't say this about their mobile game division but they don't really get too into the microtransactions and things like that, which is pretty nice. Most game publishers have kind of gone that way now where, hey, we have this game, it's $60, but here's a whole bunch of other things that you can spend your money on pretty much indefinitely. You know, they lock outfits and items and quote unquote only cosmetics behind paywall after paywall after paywall. And it, it I, you know, some of that I, don't, I can put up with, but some games take it to, like, the extreme, and Nintendo doesn't really do that. I'm sure there's examples out there of sometimes them doing it. I'm not saying it's never, ever happened. But, I mean, think about Animal Crossing, how many opportunities there would be for extreme monetization. If you, if you look at Pocket Camp, you can see all of them in action. Um, they didn't do that with New Horizons, and I didn't expect them to. I would have liked more paid DLC just because I love the game and I want more content. But even if they did pay DLC, it would be like Happy Home where you give them like 30 bucks and you get what amounts to like a whole video game. Your, I think our 30 bucks for Happy Home went a lot farther than 30 bucks in <laughs> Pocket Camp would. So I appreciate that about the vast majority of Nintendo games. So for their online services, I give them a pass personally. I don't, I don't see that as being like too much. But some people disagree. Check my bag. 
Why? I don't know why I'm checking the bag. I'm like, did I miss something? Did I get something that was really cool? I'm finding it interesting that I can't find any recipes on these islands. I've visited a number of them now, and only, I think, one had a recipe on it, and I've not seen one since. Let's see if I can catch this fish. Got it. That's new. Your bag storage might be... Oh, no. I Yeah, okay. So I get now why you were asking me to check my bag. We're all good. We're all good. Paying to use your Wi-Fi on... Paying to use your Wi-Fi on your Switch that you pay for and you earn money to pay your bills. Dumb companies introduce paid online services. Well, no, I get it. But uh, we can't have it both ways, right? Like... Nintendo did free updates for the game. That costs something. People people work in these companies. They pay they have bills to pay. I get it. It'd be nice if we lived in a world where all these services could be free, but uh that ain't the case. But, oh well. Is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and pick some weeds while I'm here. And we, you know what? We have a good haul. I, I think I hit every rock, which is good. Because, yeah, you can run out of iron and stone real quick if you get crafting. I think, you think it used to be free? I can't remember. That's what stinks too, right? Like, there's, there's times we can remember certain services being free and then suddenly they're not it's all going this way though this is just the world we live in i just i guess i'm just complacent i don't know choose to accept it because getting angry about it is something i used to do <laughs> it didn't really serve my anxiety too well so now i'm just like now all i can do is compare it to other things and compared to other things i'm not super chapped about nintendo charging for their online services when there's so many more examples of companies taking advantage of people. <laughs> oh, wow. I should try and catch this dragonfly. I'm, I think I only need one more bug to satisfy my five bug quota here. There we go. Calm mindset. I don't mind either. Yeah, it's... There you go. There's plenty of things for me to be mad about. I'll save it for those things, I guess. One more snowflake, and I can satisfy yet another Nook Miles achievement, so I'm going for that. I can grab both of these. <laughs> I like that they're giving us DLC with online memberships, though. Yeah, that was... I, I appreciated the choice. At first, I was going to be mad because I thought you could only get Happy Home for, like, a split second if you did the extreme online whatever, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that we got to choose one or the other was like, oh, okay, that's fine then. <laughs> I went ahead and just... Ooh, that's new. I went ahead and just bought... The separate service. I, I I knew that I didn't want to pay a premium for Nintendo Online because I wasn't going to use the other features. Yeah, the premium Nintendo Online, the extra cost subscription for the more classic games, I, I just, I'm not interested. What do you bet? I There's one of these fish here that I don't have. I'm going to scare one away if I try and catch the other, but let's let's just go for it. Oh, one just turned its back. Do either of you care? Hello? Fish? Come on. Anyone? Any takers? Come on. There we go. 
and I lost it. I lost both of them. That I wasn't even expecting it to chomp immediately. Dang it. Where is the okay. I can't aim any look at this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come in here and embarrass myself. I can't catch a single thing now. I'm getting out of here. This island's terrible. Not even a single tree. Terrible island. I had the worst time. You decimated the environment. L Listen. If they didn't want me doing that, they should have put some fences or something around the little things that were there. Whatever they were. I don't remember. There's like nothing there. How am I supposed to remember what it looked like? At least we have a couple more bugs to donate. <laughs> One out of five. Don't go here. Awesome that we found some stuff we didn't have. Look at that. Squid and a butterfly. Several things, as Blathers put it. Sweet. I'd say that was a worthwhile visit. Now we can make ourselves a new bed. Uh, we have... The... Wooden simple bed, which I think if I combine it with the stuff I have at home, we can afford it. And I can even make, if I really want to, perhaps the a table and chair or chairs. I can make a mini DIY workbench, maybe. I'm kind of getting worried because I want I want this entire row of things, and I <laughs> still don't think I have enough stuff. Well, we're going to try. Let's see. I'm going to grab the customization kits. I only have one piece of wood? Really? <sighs> okay. And I'll make another flimsy axe while I'm at it. Because we have more harvesting to do, evidently. Dang it. I was really hoping that trip would set me up for a while. I was almost certain it would. I'm happy to crack through another flimsy axe, but still. All right. I have some coconut trees from earlier, and we can just do these real quick. Nice and easy. Don't have to shake them first. Cool. Off to sleep. Approach at 2 a.m. See Alex? Should you start hard mode in Animal Crossing? Um, if this is something that's appealing to you. Far be it for me to tell you uh, whether or not to destroy your entire island. <laughs> To, to start a new challenge. Forgot to donate the dinosaur. These are... Oh. Uh, the, the fossils that I have in my storage are duplicates. I already have duplicate fossils. Which is great. Because they make fantastic gifts. I need two ducks and a goose on the island. I'm not going to have room for the coconuts because my inventory is full. Oh, that's a thought bubble. I am supposed to talk to you if you have a thought bubble. I want to talk to you about something. You probably wouldn't know what it was. Who cares? Let's talk about whatever. Wait. Oh, you know what? My inventory is full. And so she can't give me whatever she wanted to give me. Okay. Here, let's 
put some stuff away before we start picking all this stuff up. Now I really do want storage cabinets everywhere. Oh my goodness. Welcome back, Copper. Appreciate everyone hanging out today, by the way. Appreciate all the likes on the stream. You guys are awesome. Glad you're enjoying yourselves. I've been having a lot of fun in hard mode. I'm going to put away these extra fruits that we got. Bugs, all this stuff. Unless I'm crafting with it. I don't think I'm going to craft with this. I just put those on the ground for some reason. Okay. It's looking good. Thank you. Yeah, we had some fun decorating my house for a little bit. And it's a total mess. I love it. I'm getting literally everything on my schedule done with these streams on. I'm grateful. <laughs> I definitely need to take up your strategy of just depending on someone else's like stream or something to like motivate me to get something some things done cuz yeah as especially as I do these streams all, always something else gets let go and uh yeah that's that's why I don't tend to stream on on random days of the week but I changed my mind today I'm like you know what I know I have a lot of things I'm going to want to do so I might stream for a bit and that's what we're doing. And I'm getting pretty invested in my interior of my house. I'm trying to make sure it looks kind of nice. What else? What else? What else? Uh, okay, we definitely have enough to make the bed we want to make now. And one of the Nook Miles achievements I have at the moment is to sell 10 shells. So I'm just kind of also trying to collect these. Love having a stream on the background to mindlessly get things done. Just had dinner, for example. Glad I could help. What was dinner? Alright. Your grandmother left behind her favorite rocking chair. We chair-ish it. It's pretty it's pretty dark, Ritsu, for a for a joke there. You're bumming us all out. Uncalled for. So what do we got? Uh, is that 10? I can't even tell. They're scattered all throughout my inventory. It doesn't matter if it's 10. I should literally sell every available shell at the moment because we need the money. We desperately need the money. Let's go get that bag. I think bag is a pretty generous term for how much money this is going to be worth, but let's do it anyway. Ploop. Roasted cauliflower, potato, zucchini, turkey bacon, and some toast. Random but delicious. That sounds good. That sounds really good. What's Sofa's favorite berry? A cherry? Okay. I miss the duck puns. Get those five bells. Hey. It's it's actually f like four bells because they take a 20% handling fee. But yeah, let's sell them. What should we sell? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I should keep the giant clams for like crafting in the future, but no. <laughs> I won't be doing that. That's almost 10,000 right there. Look at without the giant clams. Oh, yeah. Gosh, those are worth a lot. Boom. Oh, it feels good to see that number go up. If I talk to two more villagers, we'll get some extra miles as well. We'll probably do that. We might even do another sea creature run since I have that as a current Nook Miles task. Did I sell the softwood? I have some here. I, I don't think I did. Don't scare me like that. Mm -hmm. 
All right. You had a 30 stack? <gasps> Did I? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Crap, I wish I could get it back. Okay, that's my axe. Two ducks walk into a bar. The third one says, duck. I was typing so fast I tried. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I should have paid more attention. I'm sorry. This is why you need sleep, everybody. Sleep is very important. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Well, number went up, so that made me feel good still. Dang. That was a good chunk of our trip to the Nook Miles Island. <sighs> Let's craft our bed. Where is it? Here we go. No, 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 no. Three forty-five a.m. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna go ahead and take the mini DIY workbench while we're at it, and then let's customize. It'll be nice to have one of these inside. Oh, is this not a double? Ah, uh, I thought I was making a double. Oh man. That's lame. Yikes. <laughs> I definitely don't want that. Um, okay, this is fine. It's not a large bed, you see. I wanted to fill up that space. That's why I put the photo in the middle. I thought I was filling up that space with a bed that was two tiles wide. Do I have a blue one of these? Oh, I do. Well, at least we can still get a real bed in here. That's that's at least something. So that's going to be in my pockets. And so is this. No, nope, we're not done. So if I want to, I could I could do something like that. And I think that looks good. And then I could put the crafting bench in the corner here. Uh, I feel like a lantern should go on top of something there, shouldn't it? And then the guitar can go here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Do I have anything? No. Of course not. Now I'm starting to wish I could go to another Nook Miles Island because I want to continue collecting supplies. I'm having kind of a sad over it at the moment. Just started replaying City Folk a couple days ago. One of your stars is Maple. Oh, that's a good get. Okay. Where's my fish and bug collection? I'm going to put these outside. I am trying to keep my storage from getting too full before I pay off this loan, which is not going well. Um, the storage filling part. And so, one of my strategies is to just keep putting bugs outside. Time travel a day and hit your trees and rocks. I won't be doing that. I am I'm enjoying the game with all of its limitations. Place it there. I don't know which bugs. Let's see. Like certain things you can stack stuff on. Oh, dragonflies have a big cage too. So we'll put you here. And we'll place you there. There we go. Fine. 
Flick and CJ are going to make me so dang rich. You know what? I'm just now realizing if Flick or CJ comes over, which one of them will alone, and it's probably going to be CJ first, if any of them, I'm going to be very confused because I've mixed my fish and my bugs together. I'll rearrange this on my own time, but I need to start separating fish and bugs. Otherwise, I'm going to kind of hate it when one of them finally arrives. Okay. Diving. I was going to go on an extra diving trip. Separate it now? Oh, so boring. <laughs> Not even just for you guys, but for me. I want to I want to catch sea creatures. Separate now while you can. Why can't I later? Wait, what's going to happen later? Do you guys know something that I don't? Oh, you think I should move them to the whole other side of the island? That's a lot of walking. I was just going to kind of like draw a little line in the sand or something and just kind of get them apart. Sometimes Flick can be annoying. He keeps bugging me. Oh, no. Stop it. got up here. Let's see. Embrace the chaos. I think I'm already doing quite enough of that. Something about CJ seems fishy. <sighs> anyway, what, uh, what game... Other than Animal Crossing, what games are you guys playing? This is always a fun question because you always get some pretty interesting answers. Ooh, nice Dungeness Crab. Uh, I don't know what the island theme is going to be yet. I'm just kind of I'm just going to let that kind of like come to me naturally. I, I didn't go into this with any plans other than play hard mode. East side of the island. Put a strip between the river and the sea. Oh, I just missed this because I was reading chat. Oh, is Goat Simulator 3 out? Oh, I gotta get that. Minecraft, Pokemon Violet, Slime Rancher, Microsoft Flight Sim, Stardew Valley, Harvestella, Baron Breakfast, Elden Ring, Splatoon 3, Pokemon Violet, Pokemon Violet. Fished your decks a while ago, so you're shiny hunting? Oh, that's fun. That's awesome. Splatoon, Fortnite, Dreamlight Valley. Nice. I was saying something else, but I got distracted by the games you're playing. Wobble Dogs! I almost got that. Hoko Life, Dinkum. Games other than Animal Crossing? There are other games? <laughs> Breath of the Wild. And Cozy Grove. House Flipper and Dinkum. Whoa, this thing's cruising. Do you guys see this? We finally have a more formidable sea creature here. Oh, it's going to be really nice to have caught something challenging so early. Get it. Yes. We got the snow crab. Look at that. I'm not a big fan of diving, but given the, the stupid delay that I'm dealing with with fishing this time around, I'm really not a big fan of fishing. So I'm very happy to be like filling up this collection log so early. Playing OG Animal Crossing, nice. Hello uh, to Masha, how's it going? You were just playing some City Folk? Right? Oh my goodness. Where's everyone getting City Folk? All Everyone's like playing City Folk all of a sudden. 
I'm seeing more and more people talk about city folk. Is this another snow crab, you think? Yeah, this is going to be... This is money trying to crawl away from us here. That's another snow crab. Yes. That is exciting. It's all city folk this year. Mori's playing it now, too. That is true, yes. I, I actually was aware of that. Are you playing City Folk on a Wii or a Wii U? Or if there's another way you're playing it, just say other. <laughs> What's this from City Folk from? That is the Wii era, Nintendo Wii. See, you need to go diving again. This is going to be the way to make money. If you're playing hard mode, don't underestimate the value of sea creatures. Oh, where are you going? Oh, that's new. Yes, we keep catching new stuff. This is great. How many sea creatures have I caught? That's not bad. That is not bad. Happy people playing are playing the older games. I'm still hopeful that one day Nintendo will re-release an older Animal Crossing on the Switch. At this point, I don't even care which one it is. And... If they did, and they tried to lock it behind their extra premium online service, that might actually get me to subscribe for a bit. Because it would be really nice to have like mod a modern console to play that on. Other than finding my own ways around that, which I'd rather not do. There's a rarity thing in these games. You need to catch X amount of creatures before other ones appear. Has that been confirmed? I've heard people say that. Is that, like, actually confirmed? Because it's feeling like we've hit that point. I'm starting to catch some pretty good stuff. Look at this. Another Dungeness Crab. I'll play any of them on Switch all over again <laughs> for the convenience. Confirmed, yes. Oh, okay. I have a Wii and a Wii U, but don't have City Folk anymore. Catch a hundred to get certain ones unlocked. Oh. So it's a hundred sea creatures ever if you just catch one hundred. Interesting. Yeah, I need to sell some of these. My only concern with them selling the uh, the older games. Oh, this is my this might be another snow crab. Uh, is that the older games had a, a lot more, like, mean dialogue. And I kind of wonder, since New Horizons is so wholesome, they don't want the good name of Animal Crossing to be tarnished by one of the older games. I've caught three snow crabs. Oh my gosh. We're going to be swimming in bells. Sorry. How many spaces do I have left? Four? Well, we might as well finish. Maybe there's something right up here. Can't share dodo codes in chat. Check this. Yes, uh, if you're if you're looking to share some dodos, please use our Discord. We do the Discord server for that. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Bloop. I need I need some water. One second. Okay. Everything is going swimmingly for you. <laughs> it's true. You played Animal Crossing on your DS Lite. You must be talking about Wild World then. 
I also miss non-island Animal Crossing. Something about being surrounded by walls. <laughs> I can see that. Jen, how's it going? Fortunately, don't have Discord. Extremely bad experience. Oh, sorry to hear that. We uh, we do our best. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna speak on that for a second. We do our best to have like a good experience in our Discord. Um, if anyone, just as a blanket statement to people in our Discord, if anyone messages you or anything like that and you feel like something's amiss we have a report channel and you can submit a ticket and only our moderators will see the ticket it's it's a private conversation between you and the moderators and you can report any issues um so i always try to encourage people to do that because yes there can be some stuff and things on discord that uh, we definitely want to make sure don't happen on our server that's new we got a sweet shrimp Okay, and I think that's everything we can catch because our inventory should be full now. Yes, it is full. I'm hoping I've caught everything that could possibly leave in January in terms of diving at this point. Because that's one of my goals as I'm playing hard mode is to check every month and make sure I've caught everything that could leave. Yeah, screenshots really help. If you're going to use tickets... Again, those are private conversations, and uh, screenshot any incidents. That'd be great. Uh, donation. We should have some pretty good... Look at that. Oh, that's awesome to see. Sea pig might be something. Inspired to fish and dive now. Good luck. Nice. Okay, we we get to sell the rest of this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna check the value of just one snow crab because we got two. I'm really curious. I think I think the crabs are going to be worth the most. Anything that tries to scurry away from you, you know that's like money just running away. See what we got. Okay. So the Dungeness Crab is 1520. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> and the Snow Crab is 4800. Well, I'll be. Look at that. That is one diving trip. <laughs> Runaway money. Still no fly. Dang it. Why didn't anyone like the crab? He's being shellfish. <laughs> oh my goodness. Diving is actually a very effective way to earn bells, even outside of hard mode, given it's easier to spot rare ones. Yeah. So yeah, diving is highly recommended. And then yeah, if you can if you can tolerate fishing and catching bugs, of course that's always a tried and true way, but you have to wait until flick or CJ. So for the more consistent moneymaker, uh, it's definitely diving if you're in hard mode. Diving's very lucrative, have enough miles to get a wetsuit, didn't spend now 5k miles. Chinooki, how's it going? Don't forget to save the first of everything for blathers. Oh yes. Uh, that's been a habit of mine for a very long time, fortunately. As I run around, I'm trying to catch a lot of these as well. Because the items that uh, you make out of the snowflakes also sell for quite a bit of money. Uh-oh. Should I go after it? It's not worth it, right? I have to get the pole vault out and do all that. Like, put it away and get the net. Like... Yes. Some of the things on the list are just the way Animal Crossing was meant to be played. <laughs> That's how I feel. Dive into hard mode. Been making mad money today since 
mermaid clock is a hot ticket item and flick is here dang nicely done look at us go look at all this stuff we're getting we're killing it right now we're absolutely killing it uh oh yep I let that one get away All right, wait, come back. Don't leave, don't leave. Oh, oops. Cool, we did good. We did good. All right. I think, I think that's it. <laughs> I can't, I can't go on anymore. Um, I'm going to call it here. But uh, if we stream again, I will let you know by posting another scheduled stream because that's how it works around here. So just uh, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. Pay attention to uh, posts like that. And I'm tired, so I can't go on anymore. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow, but I don't know. I might need to give myself a day or two. But I will, you know, just do my dailies, log in, things like that either way, whether I stream or not. And uh, thanks for the stream. Thank you, Kato. Thank you, everybody, uh, for being here. Um, thanks to Pat for stopping by as well and also helping us clarify some of the uh, rules on the hard mode rule list. Appreciate that. Uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Be safe. Have a good one. And leave. Go away. <laughs>